Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walker, and today I'm going to be talking about the Black Swan. And I know that it has already been torn to shreds already by multiple people, but I have a few cents to offer on the matter. So, some of you may be asking, what is the Black Swan? Well, in case you didn't know, this image here is the Black Swan. The reason why it's called the Black Swan is because one of the platforms looks like a Black Swan to some people. I'm not really seeing it myself though. So let me try and summarize this argument and then I'll go ahead and debunk it. So the argument being made here is that the observer height of the camera is at one foot. And that means that the distance to the horizon on a globe should be 1.2 miles. The platforms are at a distance larger than 1.2 miles and the horizon appears behind them. So therefore, if the horizon is physical, it must be at a distance larger than 9.41 miles, meaning that all the things to do with the globe model must be wrong. So how does one go ahead and debunk this absolute globe killing observation? Refraction. So it's absolutely painfully obvious from this image that there's a lot of refraction. Both platforms are heavily distorted due to refraction. Now I'm not going to go into detail on looming because there's plenty of videos out there explaining it. But don't you think that maybe with the amount of refraction that's being visibly seen within these photos that maybe, just maybe there might be a little bit of looming enough to bring these in front of the horizon? I mean, you've found the fucking curve on a straight object in this image. The argument isn't in regards to the oil platforms. This one, this one, or their boat, <laughs> right? The argument is solely the horizon behind the second platform, which everyone can see. I don't care if there's a Chinese Superman on a hobbled refracted unicorn wearing a tutu on these platforms. Don't care. That's not the argument. If you bring it up, it's a red herring fallacy. That is a diversion or irrelevant. My argument is purely on the horizon. Now, it's funny that Quantum Razor would say something like that, as I happen to have an image which shows the horizon in front of the platforms. And it's totally not edited with Photoshop, by the way. Now, this image is perfect globe proof. But don't go bringing up the fact that the boat that you see in that image is a really weird size when compared to the platforms. That's a red herring. Now another red herring would be bringing up the text that appears to be smudged in the image, or any of the other smudging that appears to be going on there. Also, don't go bringing up that most of the text on there is the exact same as the flat earth image, because that's just a red herring. My argument is that the horizon is in front of the platforms like what should be seen on the globe. Nothing else. Isn't this just great? I mean, I love this line of reasoning. It is allowing me to sell pseudo-scientific bullshit to everyone. And I'm not done yet. What about this image which clearly shows the curvature of the Earth? And don't go bringing up the rope. That rope is not a part of it. It's not a part of my argument. Don't bring up the rope. This is easy. I should have been doing what Quantum Razor is doing far more often and people are going to believe me because it's just pure logic. Except it isn't, is it? Flat Earthers will be quick to point out that the two images that I presented as evidence of Earth being curved are bullshit because of course you can use the rope to show that one of the images is using a fisheye lens on the camera. Of course you can point out that there's so much wrong in the image that shows the horizon in front of the platforms. And of course I can point out that there's a lot of refraction affecting those platforms so it's very likely that there's a lot of looming going on. There's the kill shot. There's what they call CGI. Wait, what? Can I, can I hear that again? Wait, what? No, 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 not that. As much as Quantum Erasers voice may pain some people, play what Quantum Erasers said again. There's what they call CGI. So did this Flat Earther really just claim that Globe Earthers are claiming that their evidence is CGI without even a hint of irony in his voice? I don't know, maybe Flat Earthers are dropping the CGI argument now. In which case, I've got a few photos that you might want to take a look at. Wait, why are the squirrels around my computer? Go away! Alright, so here is a very good question that Flat Earthers won't ask. So how do I know 
that it's looming that's making the platforms appear as though they are in front of the horizon. And to answer that, I'm going to take a look at the platform on the right, Platform Hill House, as there's something very simple which shows that looming is at play. So here is a comparison between Platform Hill House and the Black Swan image, and an image of Platform Hill House that I found on Google, and altered the brightness and contrast of. Trust me, altering the brightness and contrast of it is very important, because otherwise the image looks like this. Also, altering the brightness and contrast made it look a lot better in my opinion. So what can we tell from these two images? Well, for starters, we can tell that there's quite a bit of compression going on in the lower part of the platform. This can be seen with the difference in proportions of the sections of the pillars that are holding the platform up. Sorry if that was a bit too wordy. This of course is to be expected with significant amounts of refraction. We can also see that the section that sticks out on the right of the platform isn't meant to be bent in the same way that it is in the black swan image. But here is the main thing that I want to draw your attention to. Look at the horizon in each of those images. In the one on the left, it is significantly lower than the one on the right. This is very good evidence that a lot of refraction has caused the horizon to appear higher than it normally would. Now a flat earther might say, well maybe a change in viewer height changed the horizon. Well, if it was a change in viewer height, the viewer height would actually have to be lower than it is in the black swan image to make the horizon lower. This is absolutely definitive evidence that there is atmospheric refraction causing looming in the black swan image. Now flat earthers, if you want to draw conclusions from the black swan images, you must make sure to absolutely account for looming due to atmospheric refraction. Now there is one last thing that I would like to bring up. Recently I was moderating a debate between MC Toon and Austin Witzer, and Austin brought up the Black Swan image because of course he would. Now one of the things that Austin asked is where is the physical horizon in the image? That is a bad argument. So here is a rule of thumb. Everything that is ever seen within an image is only ever apparent. Now using information such as viewer height, camera zoom and atmospheric conditions, we can predict where things should appear within an image. Now of course this doesn't stop flat earthers from repeating it ad nauseum, so I want to posit my own question. Where is the physical shape of platform habitat in this image? Spoiler alert, there is none. But we can both agree that platform habitat does have a physical shape, but that physical shape doesn't necessarily appear in the image. That's just something for flat earthers to think about. Oh, wait. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment letting me know what you think. I'm pretty sure that I have thoroughly torn the black swan to shreds like a lot of people have already done. Are you happy? As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. The Sun Express, What Jesus, FTFE, Holmes, Huge R's, MC Nutkin, Wolfie, Stringer News One, Ashpanash, Curtis Reynolds, Curvin New Yorker and Sisyphus. If you want to support me financially you can do so on Patreon, there will be a link in the description and it's always greatly appreciated. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching. Oh hey, 7k. Thanks Bob. And by Bob I mean Bob the Science Guy.